Once more, let's go to Highline, Michigan. Jeff Masters uh, is a meteorologist with the Yale Climate Connections. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. You're welcome. Is this the, be the end or just the beginning? It's storm season in, in the United States, and we have those record high temperatures in the waters in the Gulf of Mexico. That's right. We're at the beginning of the peak part of hurricane season. The peak typically arrives in the second week of September, and with record warm water temperatures, not only in the Gulf of Mexico, but all across the Atlantic Basin, there's a risk of more intense hurricanes developing in the next few weeks. Yeah, I, I looked at some of those temperatures before we went on air, Jeff, and uh, it's uh, above 31 degrees Celsius. That's what, that's 88 Fahrenheit. Is that just normal or is this extraordinary? That is extraordinary. We can blame about half of that increase on long-term climate change, increasing global ocean temperatures. And the other half is due to unusual weather patterns this year. We had really hot weather, record heat in Florida and Texas this summer, and also extremely light winds. So the ocean was not mixed up as much as usual, which led to record amounts of heating. And you heard the governor of Florida in that report talk about storm surges. Explain to us what the risk is going forward now that the storm has passed through Florida. That's right. The winds are still blowing strongly on shore, so the storm surge that did come inland is going to be very slow to go out, and that's going to be compounded by the extremely heavy rains. We're talking four to eight inches, and that rain's going to drain into the oceans and back up because it can't go anywhere because of the high water levels. So Tampa Bay in particular is experiencing record levels of flooding, at least for the last 50 to 70 years. And the flooding is going to start increasing now as the hurricane gets off the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. So we're talking a couple feet, maybe as much as four feet of storm surge in the Charleston area in South Carolina. Is there anything that can be done in the face of this new normal? Well, we need to educate ourselves. This is not the new normal because this is not normal at all. It's going to keep on getting more extreme as we keep on pumping more heat trapping gases in the atmosphere. So we need to stop doing that. We need to adapt. We need to build more seawalls to protect vulnerable infrastructure. And it's going to be a long road ahead. Meteorologist Jeff Masters, many thanks for speaking with us on France 24. You're welcome.